Hi, crafty friends. Let's age these little pots that I got from Dollar Tree. Now, these come in like a little kit for kids, um, but I'm like, we can age these up really cool. So I'm going to do one of them. I'm going to paint one of them in this kind of cream color, which is pretty similar to the ceramic. And then the other one, I'm going to paint white because I kind of wanted to see how the difference um, of what we're going to do here works on um, both of the colors. So I grabbed out some of the antiquing wax from where Waverly, and I'm just going to start putting that where um, it's kind of where the flowers are raised up or where there's kind of an indention um, or any type of edging or anything. And you can see I'm just using a little paintbrush to do that. Don't worry, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just kind of slapping it all on there because once we kind of get it on in all the parts that we want at first, um, we will end up kind of wiping it off a little bit and then just we will repeat this procedure or this, not procedure, that sounded so official. <laughs> this, um, ooh, distressing, there, how's that? Um, again, until we kind of get it how we want it to look. So don't worry when you're wiping it off, if you leave some areas, you're like, oh, that looks a little crazy. It's okay. This is the great thing to me about aging something or distressing something is you can really build upon what you have. So there's no way to mess it up because you can always add more and just kind of make it to how you want it to be. So here it is on the white pot that we did. And this has a lot more flowers on it. The little tiny pot that I did first just has it on one side, but the uh, little white one has it all the way around. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm just going to take... Um, a little piece of paper towel and we're just going to start kind of wiping it on there now you saw i did it right away if you wanted to let it sit for a minute just to kind of absorb in you could totally do that but i felt like um, the more I left it on there too long, I wouldn't get as much as that wipe off that I wanted. Um, because again, we're going to start building lots of layers. So you can see I'm just kind of going down into the areas where I didn't put any at first. And then I was like, oh, I'm going to dip my little paper towel here in on the little picture here and just really put it all over. And then we'll go back and add like another layer of aging on it as well. So again, once I kind of got it the way I wanted on the whole thing, I went back and hit those higher points. So now I'm going to use some distressing spray. I did the copper first and then I did the pewter also. Um, so that's kind of our first, well, our second level of aging. If y'all have not tried the dis uh, distressing spray. It is, gosh, words are hard today. It is so much fun. I love, love, love using it because it just adds such a cool element to pieces. So the first one I did is kind of a little bit of an iridescent. And now this one is um, just more of a flat distressing spray. And this is kind of a cream color. Um, and again, just love these to pieces. So once that's dry, we're going to take our third element and I'm going to use a couple of different um, ink pads here. This one is like, I think it's rusty hinge or something like that. Um, but the cool thing as it dries, it really starts to change color. And look how cute these turned out. I had some little flowers in and I just think they are precious. All right, friends, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to follow for more.